Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob. Today I'm going to show you how to make the origami dollar ring. What you're going to need is a dollar bill. If you have a 5, a 20, a 50, it doesn't matter. Any American bill will work. Except with the bigger bills, the number is wider, so it doesn't tend to fit on this little square portion as nicely as the one does. Uh, so I do recommend using a single dollar bill. I am aware that I have viewers and subscribers in other countries who don't have access to American bills. Not to worry. You could try to use a bill from your country, but I'm also going to show you how to modify a regular piece of printer paper. I'll give you the proper dimensions that you need to cut out a little portion and you could follow along with printer paper and come up with something that looks like this. This one's cool because you can actually draw on it. So even if you do have American money, if you want to make one that you could draw on, then you could follow along with printer paper. So once you have a piece of paper or a dollar bill, you're ready to go. For those of you using printer paper, you need to cut out a portion of the paper that is 6 centimeters in width by 15.5 centimeters in length. When you do that, you'll find you have a piece of paper that looks like this. Now, this is not the exact same width as a dollar bill. It's actually a little bit shorter in width. And the reason for that is because the first fold in making the origami dollar ring will be to first of all hold the dollar with the back side facing towards you. Then we're going to fold the top of the dollar bill away from us along the border between the green here and the lighter color here. So right along this little line is where you want to fold the top of the bill down away from you. And you want to do that all the way across the top of the bill. So fold it down away from you. It's probably easier to hold the bill in your hand so that you can hold, uh, see that line a little better. So fold it down all the way across just like that. And then you'll have something that looks like this. Now you'll notice that the paper is around the same width as the dollar bill with the top po portion folded. You wouldn't be able to fold that little portion down on the plain paper because you don't have that border. So once you have this paper, for those of you using printer paper, take the top half and we're going to fold it in half lengthwise. And then what I want you to do is to fold the top end onto the midline, the bottom end onto the midline just like that and then fold the whole thing in half and now those of you using printer paper should be able to follow along as I go through the folds with the dollar bill. Okay so once you fold that top portion of the dollar bill away from you along that border we're going to flip the bill over completely and then we're going to take the top edge of the bill which is the bottom of the bill we're going to take the top edge and we're going to fold it down all the way until it meets the very bottom of the bill now, which is right here along this fold. So fold it down until the edges line up, just like that, and then make a crease along the top. Now we're going to tuck this edge underneath this fold that we made previously. So just round it off a little bit and you want to tuck it underneath that fold there. Just like that. And then just make sure everything is still nice and flat. So it should look something like this. Now we're going to take the very bottom edge of the bill and we're going to fold it up to the very top of the bill. So take the very bottom edge and you want to basically again line up the edges. So fold this bottom edge up to the top just like that so that the edges once again line up. And then make sure everything is nice and flat by making really good creases. So you should have something that looks just like this. Okay, so as you'll notice, the printer paper and the dollar bill have about the same length and width. What we're going to do now is we're going to box out or frame the one on the left side of the dollar bill so that it appears on front of the origami ring once we've finished it. 
On the printer paper, we don't have a one there, so it makes it a little trickier to kind of figure out where you need to make the folds, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the dollar bill, and you should be able to figure it out on the printer paper. To border or frame the left side of the one, we're going to fold back this lighter portion along that line there, just like we did for the top of the dollar. So just fold it backwards on that line and make a crease. Now we're going to frame the right side of the one. So take the rest of the dollar bill and fold it back behind the one until the area around the one is in the shape of a square, just like that. So now you can make a crease on the right side. So now you'll see we have the one facing towards us. What we're going to do now is we're going to give the ring a curve. So what you're going to do is you're going to pinch the one that we folded just like that, and we're going to rotate the rest of the dollar bill in a clockwise direction. Now you don't want to rotate the rest of the bill towards this fold, so it should not be folded like this. Hold the one facing towards you, like that, and rotate the rest of the bill in a clockwise direction around your finger. And then you can kind of push on the outside, like this, and when you let go, you'll see the ring now has a nice curve. So now you want to hold it so that this one is folded away from you, like this. And we're going to take the right end now, and we're going to fold the bottom edge upwards until it's in between the O and the F. So take the right edge and fold it up so that it lies in between, the bottom edge lies in between the O and the F, just like that. And then you can make a crease. And that sets the diameter of the ring to a certain size. Now if you want to make the ring wider like that, you would fold the bottom edge further down to the right, like this. If you want to make it more narrow, you could fold it further to the left, like that. But a good size is having the edge in between the O and the F, right there. Okay, so make a crease, a good crease there. And now what we're going to do, you'll see the ring is curving in this direction. So hold it like this, and we're going to rotate both ends together until the one is lying on top of this little fold that we made. So rotate it. And as you'll see, you should have that resting on top of that fold. Now, the right border of the one should be lined up with the bottom of the bill here. So now what you want to do is you're going to unfold the one like that. And then we're going to take this excess that's underneath uh, this portion of the bill here and you're going to fold it down underneath where the one was. And as you'll see, the right, the border here, the edge of the bill, should be lined up with the right border of the one. So you don't, you don't want to have it like this, where it's not lined up. You need to have it lined up just like that. So take the excess, fold it down, and then you want to take the one and fold it back down on top of the end of the bill. And we're going to take the little, the left border of the one, this little portion that we folded back, we're going to put it underneath this excess portion that we just folded down towards us. So you want to tuck it underneath there, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the excess and we're again going to fold it inside of the ring now. So just round it off and fold it inside of the ring like that. And then we're going to turn it around and as you'll see we have a little bit of a pocket here. 
So what you want to do is you want to open that pocket with your finger and you're going to take the remaining portion of the end of the bill and you're going to tuck it into that little pocket. And it could get a little bit tricky so try to tuck it in and if you're having some trouble then you can take the end of a pencil and just kind of work it in there. And then you can squash it down and there you go. You have an origami dollar ring. Thank you for watching my tutorial for making the origami dollar ring. I hope that you found the tutorial easy to follow. Let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to rate and subscribe by clicking the little like button down below the video and the yellow subscribe button up to the left.